Okay, the eclipse is over. Uh, I posted some temperature and wind measurements you can look at in the prior videos to this one. And I also went around and looked at all the flowers. Now, these are hibiscus flowers, which I read in advance in a Google search. Uh, it said that hibiscus flowers should close and uh, purple shamrock leaves should close. It didn't happen. And we had about four minutes of totality. That's a long time. And that's not accounting for the fact that essentially these plants were going through an hour of decreasing light before the totality. So if those petals were going to close, they had over an hour to do it. Didn't happen. Moral to the story, even in the age of information, you can look up stuff all you want, and I'm sure there'll be a bunch of people out there who'll tell you exactly what to believe and how to believe it. It's up to you. Use your brain. If you want to find out how something works in this world, don't let anyone stop you from asking. So in this case, these petals did not close. And uh, the purple shamrock really didn't show any measurable changes either. Now this plant is called a knockout rose, and it showed signs of visible changes during the eclipse. Ironically, it did not appear in any of the lists when I conducted searches online for plants that would show changes during an eclipse. And I noticed that some of the petals on some of the flowers were closing during the eclipse. The only reason I could tell, because it wasn't that dramatic, was because I came outside early in the morning and I took pictures of all the plants. So I'd remember if, if anything had changed as time went on. But again, the moral to the story is, just because something's written online, just because somebody in a public office tells you so, just because somebody wearing a tie on TV tells you so, it doesn't matter. If you have questions and you're not satisfied with the answers, it's part of life. Go out and make observations on your own and see what answers you come up with. You won't be right all the time. And if you share those answers with friends, sometimes they'll come up with different answers than you have. But that's all part of the learning process. Anytime somebody tells you to stop asking questions, it's time to start asking more questions. Thanks for tuning in.